Hello, in this video I show you guys the difference between frequency separation, dodge and burn and how to combine both tools. Let's start with frequency separation. Frequency separation is a tool that allows us to separate the color and the texture of the images in two layers. Pros. This technique is easier and quicker to have a good editing and works well if you have a lot of photos to deliver in a short time. Cons. Frequency separation is kind of easy to lose control of the technique and let the photo with a fake aspect, especially skin. So it takes a while to dominate and adapt this method, but I will show you some tips and tricks to keep the photo as natural as possible, and I assure you that if you learn properly how to use it, you will not regret. To use this tool, download the frequency separation file, I put the link on the description, and install it on Photoshop by double-clicking the file. Go to Actions and double-click the action to add a shortcut to the tool. This will help a lot to speed up the editing process. I usually use the F9 key. When you use this action, a folder will be created with two layers. The first layer is the color information of the photo, and the second layer will be the texture layer. In theory, with these two layers apart, we can make color and exposure adjustments without interfering in the skin texture. But as I said before, keep in mind that this tool is quite aggressive and part of the texture of the skin can be lost in the process. So here are some tips to keep as natural as possible. The color layer has a blur intensity, which you can adapt from photo to photo, so don't let the color layer too blurry. This will help you to see exactly where and what you must correct. Duplicate the color layer to have a backup. Hide the texture layer so it doesn't get confused when editing. Many times we waste a lot of time trying to correct something in one layer, but it's in another one. Don't use brushes that are too small, this can cause the skin to become stained. I really like the mixture brush for this part of the process. Always pick the closest color. What I mean by that is that is a common mistake you want to make the skin even, so you pick one tone of the skin and keeps it forever. But you should always use your alt to pick the closest color of the place you want to correct. And the idea is to make these transitions more natural and not blend them completely. Always adapt the brush size, and to do this hold the shift, right mouse button and drag up or down to adjust the density of the edges, or from side to side to adjust the size of the brush. Places near edges such as eyes and mouth, the brush needs to be smaller. Largest parts like cheek and forehead, the brush needs to be bigger. We can correct makeup, skin and clothing with this too. Edit the texture layer only at a specific points and with replacement tools. Do not use brushes which can create blurry on the texture, so I recommend using the stamp or patch tool for this part. Do not use only frequency separation. Mix techniques so you can achieve a natural look. Use curve adjustments on luminosity mode so you can bring back some texture lost in the process. Dodge and burn. Differently from frequency separation, dodge and burn consists in create one layer to bright up some parts of the skin and another layer to darken. The idea is to bring even tones in a more natural way. This technique is used in commercial and beauty shots and requires a lot of time, sometimes hours to be perfect, but is the most natural and high-end method. Pros. It's a great way to train your photographic eyes considering the technical requirements needed to perform dodge and burn with time become the most beautiful and high-end results possible, especially if you photograph beauty. Cons. This takes time and a lot of practice. It's harder to achieve a sweet spot of editing in the beginning, and it takes time to see exactly where to apply the changes, so I suggest learning this technique, 
but if you have too many photos to deliver, this can be a delay. So using specific photos to get used to it before applying your daily editing. I personally don't think it's a technique that should be rejected because when I understood and practiced this technique, my photographic eye became more trained and my photograph improved a lot. Now let's go to the technique itself. Clean the skin before starting the technique. For that, I use patch tool. The idea is very simple. All the parts that are dark and you don't want to be dark, use a curved upwards layer. Paint the mask with black. This mask will be created automatic and painted with white to light up the parts you want. And for the parts that are light and you want to be darker, create a downwards curved layer and use the mask in the same way. It can be any exposure adjustments, but I think curves are the most common. Zoom out and check the whole picture all the time. For Dodge and Burn, I recommend you to use a pen tablet because you can add brush pressure and the work becomes more efficient, but it's still possible to add it with the mouse if you don't have it. Create a personalized adjustment depending on the image. In this case, I will create a color tone layer to complement the editing and also another curved layer to brighten up some details of the makeup and eyes. One of the ways to help visualize the parts that you need to be added is by creating a black and white layer and lower the red and yellow values, creating a lot of contrast in the skin. Now it's just a matter of time and practice. Don't be discouraged with your first photos. My first ones were stained and not very good, but use this as a way to record your progress and I assure you the technique will be quicker, easier and with an exceptional result as long as you practice. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel or like the video if this content helped you somehow and comment your favorite editing technique. Wish you all the best and stay safe!